Hey everybody and welcome to my first play-by-play -play video here with post commentary. Now before we get started here, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things that have been on my mind. And one of them is regarding the channel and where I want to take it. You know, uh, something I've, I think I've been struggling with recently is finding myself on the platform. I don't know how else to word it, that's just how I wrote it in my notes. <laughs> but you know, it's like, I'm trying to find out what kind of content that people really enjoy and that I also really enjoy making. And honestly, I feel like trying to find that has been difficult on myself. I kind of got myself into a little funk and I feel like I've been producing videos recently, namely the airstrike video. I don't know, it just, it didn't feel like it had the fat magic energy, you know? <laughs> it's just like, I find that my videos kind of portray what's going on in my life. So if my videos are doing well and I'm doing fantastic, you know, life's good. And then <laughs> my videos get a little boring. It's like, I'm just, I'm just not fully there. So essentially, I just want to make sure that I have the right energy, the right mindset when recording videos and making them because I want to make you guys the, the best content, right? <laughs> I want to put out things that I'm proud of. You know, that used to be, that was, I wouldn't say used to be, that is my philosophy for videos, but I feel like I've almost lost sight of that, and that's dangerous, because I want to be proud of the work I put out. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I bring this question to you, what kind of videos, uh, for TF2 specifically, because I do plan to play other games, yes, that is a guarantee thing, but for TF2 specifically, what kind of videos do you like to see more of? Do you like to see the ones where I'm... I'm Pretending like I'm cheating, <laughs> or like someone's salty. Do you guys like the live commentaries? Do you like the post commentaries? Now you can judge after this video. You know what? Just what? What kind of TF2 content? Do you like clips? Do you like compilations? I don't know. I'm just kind of curious. I want to experiment a little bit here. Go out of my comfort zone a little bit. Just try to find something new, or the same old thing if it works. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I'm making a Discord server, because I feel like it'll be easier to communicate with you guys about just anything, really. Any questions I have, you know, this is all very new to me, running a channel. I've been on YouTube, like, my whole life watching things, but running a channel is very, very different. Anyways, that's enough rambling, so let's just jump into it. Alright, so here I am positioned at the usual sniper spot. Looking for snipers. I was looking at the wrong side, but I'm very lucky he missed there and was just kind of standing in the open. So just a very easy headshot there. Now I'm going to be repositioning up here. <laughs> Stop that guy. See the heavy? Just turn around. Like sometimes you just got to leave. You know, I'm here stuck in this horrible spot. I decided to charge up a shot here. Maybe I can one shot the heavy, which is exactly what we did. Get that demo. Miss that headshot. Sadly, when people are jumping in straight lines like that, it makes your life a lot easier. So, <laughs> that shot was pretty nice right there on that sniper. Wow, I'm getting distracted even in post commentary here. This is this is the true Fat Magic experience. Talking about the Fat Magic experience from earlier. So, I want to put an emphasis on positioning. Essentially, like positioning a sniper is probably one of the most important things you could do, even if you're missing half your shots. If you're in the right place, it's gonna be hard for them to kill you, you know? Here, I was just following that spy. I knew it was a dead ringer. I was trying to find him so that he couldn't kill my team. So here I'm charging up a shot. I know they have snipers. Uh, I, sadly, I just missed that. And then I see all these teammates, their teammates that appear up top, and I just fall back. You know, you don't, you don't want to be up there. Once I clear them out, there we go. We got three people. I can go back to what I was doing. Sadly, it looks like here, I don't have much of a team. I seem to be like the front of the team for the most part, <laughs> for the longest time. There's me just laughing, dying to the crits. <laughs> it's really unfortunate, that scenario, because you generally want to be behind your teammates, but <laughs> there's no behind to go to. Now I have teammates up here. I see them. I want to stay behind them, charge up a shot. I know there's going to be heavies and things that have lots of HP coming through because they have medics, but I'm just missing, <laughs> which is okay. It's okay to miss. The greatest players always miss. Not saying I'm the greatest player, but if they can miss and it's normal, so can you, you know? I used to have this very bad habit where every time I missed a shot, I'd get like really salty at myself when I was younger. 
You know, I'd just be like, oh, I could have hit that. And I'd be like, yeah, I could have. But then just by thinking that, you distract yourself from hitting the next shot. And then you just kind of spiral out of control, aka you just tilt. <laughs> so just don't worry if you miss. And it kind of goes the other way too. Like, if you hit amazing shots, it's, it could be exciting seeing yourself improve. But don't freak out for that either, because both of them pull you out of the game. Which in the end is where you want to be. You want to be in the zone, right? Kind of just focusing up. And, you know, just <laughs> in the zone. <laughs> There we go, this is post-commentary mastermind here. Yeah, I saw that pyro sneaking out, so I, I fell back. I was ready just to give him a hip-fire shot and leave. It was enough to finish him off, which is nice. So anyways, I'm going to talk about positioning again. Alright, th that's what I wanted to talk about initially. <laughs> here I'm just kind of waiting. I don't see anyone on their team for quite a while. And I could push up. But I feel like it's just risky knowing how their team is kind of playing together, whereas mine isn't really, <laughs> to bluntly put it. So I think it's just the smarter play to just stay back here in this scenario. There's never one place that you just should be. Oh, I saw that scout jumping over, or demo. Wow, I thought it was a scout post. <laughs> Anyways, you know, just, there. there's no right place to be, ever. It's always situational. Here I just tried to get a sneaky crack shot on that guy like three times in a row. Miss it. Sadly, it didn't work out. But it's okay. Alright, so here we respawn. There's a pyro right in my spot. I don't know what he's doing. I see the sniper dots on the wall to my right. And I tried to get a quick cheeky kill. Just kind of sneak around the corner. The Knowing the maps is also very important for playing sniper. I will always try to peek at the... I don't know how to describe it, just as close to the wall as possible, so in theory, if I do miss, I can easily hide behind the wall right away before they even have a chance to react. You know? Oh. <laughs> that heavy's angry. Very upset. Sometimes you just miss heavies. Like, I don't I don't really know why. I think it's like the sniper main experience. It's like, a lot of other people who play sniper will say this, just heavies for some reason. Just destroy me. Like, people standing still heavies, just people walking into walls, those are all the weird things that will just make me miss, like, all the time. It's really funny. But yeah, once again, distracted. Phenomenal. <laughs> Positioning is always going to be different. No matter what game you play, even if it's the same map over and over again, get used to just being very aware of where the enemy team is and where your team is. That will determine where you want to be hiding, whether you want to be pushing up, falling back, Something I like to do here, I was noticing, just kind of <laughs> practice my aim in the spawn. Use your arm, use your wrist, just try to track people. It's just a fun little way to continue. Anyways, I saw that sniper dot on my right there. Also, I'm just trapped. I'm so fortunate to get out of that. So I know where the sniper probably is. I'm going to assume that he's on the rock, like behind it, pushed up, which I think I did catch a glimpse of him earlier. Yeah, I'm kind of prepared for this. I don't know where he is. Here I'm just gonna walk out to see what I can find. Sometimes, especially in a pub right at the beginning, I just kinda wanna know where everyone is. So I'll just look. <laughs> if I die, big deal. You know, you respawn three seconds later. You can come back out again. Ooh, that was a, a nice one there. I barely saw that. Even myself right now. <laughs> here I'm just like, here I just like to charge up these shots hold them for, once again, bigger health people. That guy was just jumping in a straight line. Believe me, that shot is a lot easier than it looks. Especially once you get used to aiming the right way. Everyone's just walking in straight lines. Like, what's... There's nothing for me to say about this. Stop walking in straight lines. Don't be like these people. <laughs> there you go. Trying to hit people while on fire is, like, something you can do. By the way, I see a lot of people just give up when they're on fire. You know, just try to find health. But if you time it properly with the... Uh, what, what do you call it? The, uh, I try to forget the name. You know what you... You know, when you're just moving your crosshairs going up and down, like... Argh, argh. <laughs> like you can hit your shots accurately if you time it, is what I'm getting at. It's not something that's easy, but it's something you can do. And it can throw people off, too. Because they don't expect you to fight back when you're on fire. 
going, so. Anyways, here I'm just kind of checking, moving up here. I don't know where my team is, so I could have just walked into their whole team, to be honest. Like, it was a little risky. And also, I was just a little off with that shot. I had that, sadly. Alright, another thing about Sniper that I thought I should mention is... I don't know, people who play Sniper, you probably notice a lot of other Snipers will try to only scope in on you when you're scoped in. And honestly, while that does, I guess, technically work, this is just a personal opinion here of mine, you can agree or disagree, but I think it's always a bad strategy. You know, like, why would you want to purposely let the other guy have a chance to kill you first? Is pretty much how I look at it. So I always try to shoot first, just because, you know, like, get, get better at being quick. You know, if, if there's two snipers with the equal aimbot-like aim, who's gonna win? The guy who shoots first, right? So, if you want to take your sniper game to the, the next level, play at peak performance, you know, just, just get used to shooting first. If you miss, and you die, you know, like I was saying earlier, don't be upset. Just kind of get back in there, keep, keep trying, keep getting better, notice the little improvements you're making. And, yeah, I'm just... I, I, I mentioned this because I, th I think in this video, I don't know, you'll see some instances where I'll try to just shoot first against a sniper where I know he's scoping in, which is generally a bad idea, <laughs> if, unless you're, you're kind of aware of what's going on. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, just the, the post ramble. Let's get back into it. Here I'm charging up a shot, I'm just kind of waiting, checking for spies. Sadly that guy peeks the second I turn around, sometimes it's just like that. Here I'm pushing up against, or ahead of the team. That was probably a little unwise of me, but I have a tendency to be hyper-aggressive. <laughs> As you guys probably noticed, the ones who've been on my channel for a while, it's just the, the fat magic way. I don't know what that NG was doing, like how he even got there. It's probably a teleporter. I think I'm going to go check for one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we found it. That guy's going to get telefragged, isn't he? I don't remember if he gets telefragged. But I think I was waiting to see if it was going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. I'm pushing up. I saw a lot of their teammates and none of mine and just immediately fell back. Like, there was no reason for me to be up there. You know, this guy's nuts. <laughs> Even if he does kill me, he dies. Like, 100% of the time. I don't think that's worth it, personally. But, you know, teach their own. Like, I, I can't really push up here, so all I'm really doing is just kind of charging up shots and peeking very slowly, hoping to get you know a pick on someone important, someone high HP, like a heavy, like a <laughs> <that's> spy. <laughs> that poor guy couldn't make it up. He got a crit rocket to the face. That's what you get. The crazy scout's back. Wonderful. I'm still feel like I'm ahead of the entire team here. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, sometimes I find this in a pub where just no one will push up. <laughs> Even though you're on offense. And you have to resist. You have to resist going forward. I know it's hard and I know it's coming from me. <laughs> but if you really want to improve and try to just be the best you can be for your team, you got to play it properly. All right. Sit back, hold back like this, charge up shots, you know. Don't be afraid to body shot people, especially if you know you're going to kill them, you know. I don't know why there's like a stigma against body shotting, like everyone gets mad. Oh, he body shot, who cares? <laughs> if he was sitting there long enough to body shot you, and you knew where he was, like that's on you. <laughs> don't walk into him. It's as simple as that. Okay, so here I see my team's actually with me. So I, I kind of feel a little bit safer to push up. But their team is holding a pretty good defense. You know, they're all over the place. They got lots of projectiles and tanky people. And I don't even know where they are. <laughs> Here we go, falling back once again. No teammates nearby. Sadly, it's the way you need to be. And it's a little unfortunate too, because I feel like sometimes I'm not doing too much as a sniper by being forced to stay back like that. <laughs> <laughs> That caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, everything's everything's fine. It's allergies. <laughs> All right, so we're back up to the cart. I see that medic. Beautiful pick. That's gonna do wonders for the team. I'll try to get that demo. <laughs> that guy looks suspicious. Even even to me now, I was like, "That's a spy, isn't it?" Nope. <laughs> He's just a really weird guy. Oh, sadly, I was not able to save my medic there. I was a little too slow, and I missed. So very unfortunate. I killed both their snipers, so I feel a lot safer here because I, I know they only had two at the time. So I felt a lot safer just to kind of move up. And even looking right now in post, I don't know where my team is. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's just insane. Anyways, never give up. Never surrender. Always fight to the bitter end. That's that's how you want to do it. Sadly, I missed the headshot. Missed the melee on that guy. It's over. I feel like in terms of positioning and what I'm doing, <laughs> I've talked about all I've needed to talk about for now. You can kind of just watch it play out with the rest. And I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I I wanted to be a little bit more appreciative of you guys, or just show my appreciation. You know, all the, the the merch stuff has been shipped out. Everyone has received it. I think as of now, from when I checked the shipping page, which is nice. So all the dirty shirts and angry shirts are out there. And I just, I really appreciate that you guys want to support me enough to, to purchase that. Honestly, I barely made any money off that. <laughs> it's just like, it was a lot of work, but it was for you guys, you know? And I, I feel just as accomplished, if not more, knowing that you guys are happy about the, my little like handwritten note with my horrendous writing for those of you who got it. But anyways, you know, I just want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for just watching and just helping me out, you know, I'm, I'm a creator, you know, but I'm not some sort of like lord and savior, you know, I'm I'm learning, I'm a, I'm a human, there's lots of things that I want to learn and improve on, I personally never want to stop improving at anything I do, so any advice, any criticism, it's always appreciated by you guys, don't be afraid to just let me know, I try my best to read all the comments, but there is a lot, so there's no guarantee, and you know, I... I just, just thank you guys for being so awesome, having such an awesome community. I love that I could spread my stupid humor and memes now throughout my channel. <laughs> like, like my jokes can now spread throughout the galaxy. This is a wonder. It's a thing I've always wanted since a kid. I've always liked to make people laugh and entertain people, and I'm just happy that I could do it through this like old ass game. <laughs> it's a really old game. I'm surprised it's still here. If I'll be completely honest, like I thought it would have died a while ago. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought this game was on a downturn, but it pandemic hit and everyone's inside and then the game is the biggest it's ever been, which is honestly really cool. Speaking of the game that's being still around, I'm kinda tired of these ugly graphics that I have in my videos. <laughs> I feel like it kind of brings the quality down, as opposed to if it was, you know, just like looking more crisp. But I do this for a reason, for those of you who don't know. I got a 240Hz monitor, so I need 240 frames at all times, or else it genuinely feels laggy to me since I've gotten so used to it, which is unfortunate <laughs> for that, you know, it's for the video purpose because I have to have these graphics like this. But I was thinking of actually buying a new computer to essentially yeah make better videos and I would use my current computer just to record the other one kind of have like a dual PC setup I thought that could be kind of cool to have also rip the electricity bill but paying rent I'm not paying for it you know <laughs> so electricity is included <laughs> see that that's how you get value out of life no. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know if you guys are interested in that but the, the problem is, even though I really want to do that, is that graphics cards are really expensive. Not to get political, but freaking Bitcoin, you can thank them for that. <laughs> I just want my GTX, man. <laughs> I'm just rambling now about graphics cards. 
Is, is that the end of the video? See, I'm no. glad the true Fat Magic experience is back. You know, I feel I feel happy to be back. I feel like I'm back. So Anyways, <laughs> it looks like this game is about to wrap up here. One minute left. Get uh, him out. <laughs> Get him out. Exactly. Thank you, Fat Magic in the past. I agree. Oh, that heavy. What a blessed child. That's yeah. Oh, I wanted the melee. <laughs> I was now I'm just cheering for myself. Like that's what I've got to. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video here with the post commentary because then it's me actually playing a little bit better. Because you'd be surprised at the difference of playing in post and playing in, or like while talking and not. Also, why is everyone standing still? What the hell's going on? <laughs> Stop standing still. Sandwich. <laughs> I just. I knew that was coming. <laughs> like, I was waiting for it. Okay. <laughs> we got wiped out. <laughs> I'm laughing. It looks like we might be able to cap this. I actually don't remember winning or not. Oh, no. We definitely did not. <laughs> we lose. So it's in classic Fat Magic fashion here. Anyways, there's the final score. It's a little disappointing to, to look at, even now, <laughs> just comparing. <laughs> but you know, we, we pulled our way. That's what's important, win or lose, as long as you do well by your standards, it's a win, you know? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.